Hey, what's happening guys? I've got more cheap electronic goodies from Timu. For those of you who don't like Timu, I have this very special message for you. Lighten up, Francis. <laughs> All in good fun, guys. I have no idea what I ordered. I don't remember. Yeah, this will be fun. Ooh, look at this. This is a teeny, tiny little linear actuated motor. How cool is that? I have no idea what I'm going to do with it yet. And it does need a uh, two-phase uh, power for it. So we'll figure something out. But I just thought it was so cool. And it was only $3.48. So that is item number one. Item number two. This guy here. This is a uh, temperature controller. Switch modes between cool and heat. Control temperature by setting the temperature set value and difference value. Temperature calibration, refrigerating control output. Uh, uh, yeah. This is not what I thought it was. This is like for controlling um, refrigeration HVAC type stuff. You can see the, uh, the wiring doodly dot there. I thought it was just more of a uh, temperature like thermostat control, but it, it, it will operate that way. So we will uh, we will figure out what it does too. And this was uh, four dollars and ninety eight cents. Up next, oh, look at them. These are some nice heavy duty toggle switches. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's a nice click. I guess you can figure out what I got those for. This is for the amp restoration project if the, um, the rotary switch failed and the rotary switch failed. So I will most definitely be using these guys these are uh five pieces heavy duty 15 amp 250 volt spst switches for five bucks so a buck a piece and you get if you're into it these nice little rubber covers to give you a nice look i don't know if i'm going to use that or not on the project but we will see Ah, this is a uh, just a super cheap acoustic gar acoustic gar. It's an acoustic fish. It's a little uh, stick-on acoustic guitar pickup. If you have an older type electrical guitar or violin or cello, any type of wooden instrument like that, you can stick those on or pick up the vibrations. What the sound quality will be like, you know, that's kind of hard to say. But uh, it was $4.50, so had to give it a shot, right? All right, next up we have some 1N4148 type diodes. These are nice little switching diodes. And I got a whole pack of them for a dollar forty-eight. There are uh, a hundred or the fifty. I don't remember which I bought. Let's call it fifty for a buck fifty. <laughs> I don't remember. And finally, some banana plugs because I need to make some uh, 
some patch cords and we got uh, five pieces red and black lantern banana plug four millimeter test terminal connector dollar sixty nine that's a pretty good deal you can't beat that all right moving on because we got two bags today one bag of stuff this is all stuff that i paid for that i wanted and then this other stuff is uh timu gave me money to get so let me bring up that and we'll look at these and of course i'll put links down to everything down below if you're interested these are uh, 10 centimeter male to male dupont cables because they disappear out of here faster than i can get them in and uh they were a buck 79 that's a that's a pretty good deal all right next up this is the idea spark nano 3.0 led wobble wobble blah 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 what it is is an arduino nano right there's your atmega 328p with a little uh, built-in OLED screen. Don't really have any projects for it at the moment, but I just thought the uh, Nano with a built-in OLED was pretty good, although it is a little on the pricier side at $8.50. So if it's something that you might need for a project, you know, maybe that $8.50 sounds good to you, but that's a little much for, for my taste. Now, here's another one from Ideaspark, and this is this is a Node MCU uh, 8266, which is the older version of the uh, ESP32. But again, I got it because it has an OLED module on it, and it was the same price at $8.50, so... We'll be playing with this. I like I like the ESP32s and the 8266. They program exactly the same as an Arduino, but you have a lot more functionality. And so they're like a Arduino Plus, <laughs> kind of so to speak. All right, what is this? ADS115. Ah, oh, okay. This is a 16-bit. 16 byte 4 channel I squared C uh, analog to digital digital to analog converter come out come out there so you can get an idea what the connections are VDD ground was that SDL, SDA? Man, I'm having a hard time reading those. Address. Well, anyway, this is the uh, ADS1115. Uh, like I said, 16 bit, 16 byte, 4 channel, I squared C, ADC converter. And it was uh, only $3.49. I thought that was a really good deal. So that's why I grabbed that up. And this is an IEC power type cable. 18 gauge, 10 amp, 250 volt rated. They're just useful. And it was uh, $3.99, so that's not too bad for the price. And finally, the last one, this big one. This is the KY107 multifunction vacuum cleaner. And the reason I blow it is, bought it is because it also said it was a blower. So I'm going to be really disappointed if it doesn't blow. It would suck if it doesn't blow. It would suck if it doesn't blow. I expect your applause down below. All right, usage, power switch, wireless switch. <laughs> Certificate, grade, qualified. Place of origin, Zhejiang. 
clerk number 005. 005 is a good one. That's the one you want. So let's see. We got, oh, look at that. Got like a little, little filter drobby in there. It's got a snout. USB charger. Another little type of fitting dealy wobble there. Little thing with a brush. Oh, it's not nice, nice, nice little attachments, but like I said, I wanted it because it was it said it was a blower. It's got some weight to it, I'll tell you that. Oh, it does. Look at that. Look at that. So there's your trigger. Oh, yes. That's what I wanted. So you put it on this way. And it's a blower. You flip it around. This way. And now it's a vacuum with various oh look at that purse right in there various vacuum -y type attachments so I think this goes in here then everything else slots onto this no watch the idiot pull with the vacuum cleaner hmm Because that, that doesn't really fit. That does. I mean, that just slides in there like it was made for it. Then you'd think that would go on there, but it does not. Does it go on this side? Yes. So this must fit in. Yeah, there we go. Like that. And it comes with, a, like I said, a little USB charger. This is very cool. And this, like I said, this is what I wanted this for as a blower. Perfect. Uh, this was thirteen ninety nine, but it's super cool. Very cool. All right, guys, that's everything from my Timu haul. I think the coolest thing that I got is this tiny little electric linear actuator. I mean, look how cute that is. Look, I forgot something to make a little, what, 10 millimeter poke? Boop. Make a dog booper or something. <laughs> all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed all this. I really do. I'm sorry if you don't like Timu, if you think they're stealing your information or, I don't know, making this shit out of puppies. But, uh, frankly, they're one of the few things that are paying my bills right now. So, I'm going to keep doing this as long as you keep watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.